Hi guys, hope everyone's well. Today I'm going to be looking at the prestige of the done. Now I don't know if this is a new feature, I think it is because I've never seen anyone do it before and um, I've never come across it before so I think it's coming after the update. Um, but I'm going to test it out today, I'm going to look at the pros and cons and if it's worth it. So to prestige on Verdun, all you have to do is go to the account menu within the main menu and press square. Once you press square, a little message box comes up and it sort of gives you a bit of information about prestiging. So once you've clicked prestige, um, you get this sort of new banner. So usually your rank, next to your rank is like a green banner and it will say your rank number. So it might be 1, 2, 3, 56, 27, you know. But in my case, it's red. And now I've gone back down to one. So after every prestige, basically, you go back to level one. And it means you have to restart again, basically, on the game. It's like a fresh. So I'm now rank one, prestige one. And hopefully I'll try and aim to get to prestige two. I'm hoping to do second prestige. They might not. I don't know the, don't know the ins and outs of it yet. So I'm going to have another test around first. But that's sort of the main gist of it. And that's what it looks like there. You get a red banner instead of a green, basically. Okay, so I've loaded into a new game. And what I can see is compared to the other players, this is just a custom game bearing in mind as well, but it'll be the same same online as well. Um, everyone's still got a green banner and I've got a little red banner which indicates that of prestige. And the other sort of big thing I've noticed is when I go into my loadouts and the rules, my guns are all locked basically. So the ones that I might have unlocked like four years ago, three or four years ago, are now locked again. So it's a similar um, prestige system to Call of Duty for example. Um, you know, you get to a certain level you prestige and then you restart and you do it all again but you've got that sort of prestige next to your name. Um, I think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it works. It gives you another thing to aim for in the game. But if you want to keep your guns, if you're happy with what you've got, then just stick you know, stick with it. Don't You don't have to prestige. But it doesn't make a difference really for me because I've got enough squad points that I can unlock all the roles that I've not got currently. And I can sort of, you know, I'll be able to get them all back if that makes sense. So I've got enough squad points to unlock everything again. So prestiging for me doesn't really matter, but it just gives me an extra red banner next to my name. So the, the pros and cons, basically, if you get to 100, if you've got enough squad points, I'd, I'd suggest prestiging. And it gives you loads of squad points anyway, so you can unlock multiple roles. And um, I don't, I don't think the only, the only reason I wouldn't prestige is if I didn't have enough squad points to unlock things again. But it's a new challenge, and um, it's a cool little feature next to your name, I suppose. As always, it'll be interesting to hear what you guys think, and um, we can discuss it in the comments. Cheers for watching.